Hello everybody and welcome to one of our educational videos. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most popular wedding flowers and that's Gypsophila. It's such a cost effective flower um, and so popular and has been for, for several years now actually. Now I'm going to try and explore the reasons why it's so popular. So really cost effective value for money flower to use because you get several flowers per stem so they can be broken down into several different arrangements. You might also know it as baby's breath or jip or gypsum. Um, I've also called it, heard it called gypsy before now. So yeah, so many different names but this is what we're talking about, gypsophila or gypsophilia even. <laughs> I've got three different varieties here today to show you. As a general rule, the botanical name um, means lover of chalk. So it tends to be grown in calcium rich soil, so I'm guessing that's where it got the lover of chalk name from. So rather than buying an A1 grade or a BA grade, the stem length is not always quite so essential in what you purchase. With roses, the longer the stem, the larger the head. You can't really say that with gypsophila, I'm afraid. It's more the weight basis is what gives you um, the better grade. It stands to reason, really, I guess, if it's weight driven, the heavier the stem, the more flower per stem you get. Stem length does have a little bit of, a, of an impact, but not so much as is evident with other flowers. I'm just going to remove one of the stems and show you exactly what I mean, if I can. Oops, as you can see they're quite, quite dense. So, as you can see, this is starburst and you've got potentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got seven breaks on that stem to use. So, in comparison with something like this, which is a slightly lower grade, you've literally got one, two, possibly three stems. So, although this would prove to be your cheaper option per stem, this is going to be more cost effective because you won't need to use quite so many stems to achieve the same end result. So buying cheap doesn't always pay off in the long run. As the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. So if you buy a slightly more expensive option and a better grade, you get more flower per stem. So now I'd like to introduce you to some of the varieties of gypsophila that are available. I have two of the extra grade varieties here and one the slightly lower grade. Just to give you an illustration of the different head sizes, this is a small head. This particular variety that I have here is called Starburst and it's the extra grade one. Do bear in mind that they do get a bit tangled, so you have to be a little bit delicate how you separate them. So this one's Starburst. Other smaller headed varieties are Million Star. The next variety I have, this particular one is called Blancanives. It's actually a medium headed one. This is a slightly lower grade one. I would recommend if you're going for a medium head that you go for one called Bridal Cheer. On our website that is shown as an extra grade. And then finally we have the large headed ones, again big and blousy, frothy, quite romantic in their appearance. This particular variety I have here is called Snowball. Other varieties available are Excellence, spelt X-L-E-N-C-E. There's also Mirabella and there's also Overtime. So it just gives you an introduction into the different varieties and as is quite apparent, you can see the difference in head sizes. So we're looking at a small headed variety with roughly a five millimeter diameter flower up to a large headed variety with roughly a centimeter diameter flower. So again, it's personal choice. Um, the, the choice of variety is entirely down to you and different ones tend to be more useful for, for different styles of arrangements. And it's also down to what you prefer to work with. So I hope this has been helpful. 
Don't forget to like us and share us with your friends and family. Keep those questions coming. Um, and also don't forget to visit our YouTube channel for more tips and hints and inspirational ideas. So until we see you again, bye for now.